I remember being so excited to walk across the stage, shake that stranger's hand for some reason, get my certificate and get out there into the real world. And since then, all these years have gone by. And I thought it'd be really cool to actually go back into the uni bubble and relive a day in the life of an undergraduate. So here we go. Don't let the timestamps fool you. If we're actually in Sheffield and I was at uni, that time would probably be closer to 12 p.m. than 8 a.m. But alas, that's not the case. I've got a train to catch. However, I am gonna keep it as real and as close to what I probably would have been wearing back in the uni days, which was the vintage jogger bottoms with the jumper combo because I'm keeping it as comfortable as possible. Normally, it should take me around 16 to 17 minutes to walk to the station, and I have got this down to a science over the years. So don't worry, we shouldn't be missing any trains today. But then I had a bit of a pit stop because I met a new friend along the way. Meet Felix the cat, we've had a bit of a bonding session, and I'm straight back on track. Got a really nice scenic walk to the station, so I thought I'd show you guys a bit of my home, which is Winslow. Here's a nice little river running through the bottom of Cow Lane, which is where we hang out over summer. Right now, back to the station. Here we go, up these flight of stairs, and I am absolutely knackered by the end of it. Been out of the gym for a while now, so excuse me, I'm gonna have to take a break. But fortunately, the train is right on time. There's not a direct line to Sheffield, so I'm gonna stop off in Stockport. I'm a little bit peckish as well, so I'm popping into Starbucks for a cheeky bite to eat. And it is cheeky because this was definitely not in the budget back in the day. And a coffee was definitely not in the budget, but you know what? Today I'm just gonna let it all soak in. I'm gonna enjoy the views. And then I'm gonna crack out a bit of work along the way to make it a productive train ride. And here we are, back in Sheffield, home sweet home. And you know what? It's really, really good to be back. I couldn't help but reflect on the journey of being a student to graduating and leaving university and joining the workforce and how fast that process happens. You go from being in a very fun environment surrounded by all your friends to leaving university, getting a job and then seeing your friends, if they live in other cities, that is every few months. And it's just, a, it's just a huge change socially, financially. I'm coming back today, especially being on the Enclave campus, which is where I attended for first year, just brought back such good memories and let me just appreciate what was an extremely fun and exciting chapter of my life. So far, it's been an eventful day. It was a nice surprise to catch the fair here and bump into the new generation rugby lads holding it down for Sheffield. But let's move on. I want to show you where I used to live, which was called Crescent Flat. Yeah, welcome to the flat. Number one was me. And here's the kitchen. Nothing special, but it did the job. What can I say? Second year house, bit of an upgrade, 12 Tapton House Road. I actually had to fight to get double glazing windows in that bedroom right there because in the winter it was freezing. For third year, I moved to Sale Hill, which was a bit of a downgrade, to be honest, from where I was staying in second year. And then for my final year, Crooksmore Road was the spot. I was living in a converted church, which was a bit odd to begin with. But honestly, I got really used to it and it became, became like home, to be honest. Something strange and wonderful about having a stained glass window in your kitchen. Now you've seen where I used to live, I want to show you where I used to chill and it was a nice little spot in the centre of Broom Hill. Let's just make sure we don't get run over along the way. There we go, nice and safe. Welcome to the York. Can't really beat it, it's just inside and out this place is pure class in Sheffield. If you've been to Sheffield before, I hope you've popped by and seen this place. Really good food, really good drinks, you can't really beat it. And in the day, I don't think there's anything better than popping in, getting an apple tizer, and just sinking into a good book. I'm currently reading Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. It was a present this year, actually, from a friend of mine. 
and so far so good. It's mostly about stoicism, but a lot more pages to go. With some pages in the bank, let's go on a little walk, my standard walk to uni, and it was a beautiful one. I'd cut through Western Park, over the bridge, and basically, on a good day, you could even stop off and just spend a little time getting lost in the present here. But normally those days were few and far between because as we all know, we're never on time for lectures. We're always late, hungover or some other mess, which makes it just anxiety inducing. Back on campus today, back at the Union where most of my lectures actually took place. So let me just give you a tour. We're heading to the auditorium, which was where the vast majority of my lectures took place. I remember opening this door and walking in as a first year law student. I remember my first day of lectures and just how overwhelming it all was. Sitting down, I think it was a contract law lecture, case law just being dumped on me like crazy. And I just thought, wow, if this is day one, I don't even know what the next year is gonna look like. After lectures, I'd grab a bite to eat. I've tried to show you guys the absolute post night out spot in Sheffield, which used to be called Broomhill Friary, but for some reason they've got rid of it. So we're going to Naughty House, which is the best pie in the UK. Nothing but the best in the north of England. It's been a lot of walking and I could use a nice cold one, to be honest. It's going to have to be alcohol free, unfortunately, because it's detox season right now and it is a no alcohol zone. I've ordered my pie and I'm just seeing this waitress going by constantly with pies and none of them are for me. And honestly, it is absolute torture at this point because I am starving. And finally, finally, here we go. My man dropping off the chicken and mozzarella and the beef in red wine shoe. And it wouldn't be a pie without drowning it in some of the, th well, it's not the thickest gravy, but it's the good stuff. Let's do it. There we go. Let's tuck it. Smells good. Can't be too careful. There we go. Oh, that is good. Now that I've filled my pie hole, let's go to the law school where I'd like to say a lot of work got done, but definitely didn't in the first year. I remember actually getting pulled in by my supervisor telling me that she didn't think I was going to make it through to the end of first year because I was just constantly coming in late, hungover. Yeah, let's just say I wasn't the very best student to begin with, but things change and swiftly. By third year, I'm coming into lectures early, probably an hour early actually, because I'm trying to get a solid block of deep work done before the whole class turns up and the seminar begins. So this is my golden time just to power out some case law and just some questions in preparation for the seminar ahead. I think my supervisor was actually very proud of my transformation by the end. I told her, don't count me out. As a law student, you spend a lot of your time in the library and Sheffield has an absolute selection box of them. The one I'm just leaving is called Western Bank. That was the silent area where you couldn't even hear a pen drop in there. And people tend to love that place. But you know, after a couple of years in there, I wanted a bit of change. I moved to the Information Commons. This is Sheffield's signature library and what I call the Horcrux because I left a piece of my soul in there in fourth year. And this is where I closed the show out. The Diamond is where I wrote my legal dissertation and I experienced a lot of stress in this building. I had a lot of sleepless nights and drank an absolute ton of potent coffee. And like anything, you have your highs and then you have your lows, but on particularly bad days, I just close the laptop and walk on over to my friendly neighborhood ice cream parlor to get the honeycomb and salted caramel package. Guys, look at that ice cream. It's as soft as can be. 
and he almost forgot my flight. I couldn't believe it. I had to give him a little polite reminder because I wasn't going anywhere without my flight. It wouldn't be right if I didn't show you guys my absolute favorite place to go in Sheffield and it is none other than the Dam House. And you can see why this place is absolutely stunning. I've come here on summer's days, winter days, as long as the sun's out, you're gonna have a good time here. And it's extra special for me because it's where I came to celebrate after every exam. And it's where I remember very distinctly coming after my last ever exam and the buzz that I felt. And I came here with friends from first year and just drank the evening away. And honestly, it was just a magical moment. I really didn't know what to expect coming back to Sheffield today and I'm really glad that I came because the day has just been incredible from start to finish. I've loved every second of it walking back down memory lane. It's been so nostalgic. But you know, the one thing that has stood out the most to me today is just how fast time is moving. And for me, moving forward, I really want to bring it into awareness how I'm spending my time to make sure that the way I'm spending my life is in a way that is bringing me fulfillment. And other than that, guys, you know what it is. See you at the next one.